All right, Shalom, Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the other apostles of the great millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. And I'm going to hop straight into it, all right? Because you got, you know, these niggas, you know, these scoffers and scorners, if you will. Um, you know, they talk about like the year 2000 prophecy and then now the new one. Uh, Elder Apostle Gabon, 2000, uh, 2007, said in 2008 or 2009, one or the other, it's going down. Well, things did pop off that year. A lot of shit happened that year. America wasn't destroyed, this or that. But in a sense... That's not what he was saying. All right? This shit is just going to keep on turning up and turning up until the end. And also, you're supposed to be hastening in that day. We hope that this year is the year it goes down. Even going back then, do you think in 2008, the elder apostles wasn't hoping that that shit went down in 2008? I tell you this. If it did go down in 2008, how shall I return to all that? A lot of us... Hey, a lot of us would have been two-thirds, nigga. So you lucky it didn't go down back then, man. You niggas are lucky it didn't go down in 2000, man. All right? Hey, guess what? 2018 is going to go down. All right? I ain't saying, hey, Yahweh Shai is going to make his return because no man know of that day. But making that statement is basically saying next year is going to be fucked up. All right? Just like this year, it went down. Last year, it went down. All right? But let me give you uh, these scriptures, man. All right, because if you're a true man of the Lord, you supposed to hey, you supposed to be hastening in that day. All right, Second Peter three and twelve, looking for and hastening until the coming uh, of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens shall be, the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right, so we should be looking for it that to that day. Matter of fact, Yahweh Shai said, "What? Hey, that day is in his heart." Okay. That day is in his heart. So you should be constantly looking for the destruction and downfall of this place. Constantly talking about it, preaching about it, man. Okay? Hey, that's what we're supposed to do as prophets, man. But hold on, I got another scripture. All right, this is Acts, first chapter 6, verse. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? All right. So even back then, when Yahweh Shai came back, just like, damn, OK, we about to get the kingdom. Hey, is it time now? Shit, they wanted that day to be back then, 2000 some odd years ago, man. So how much more now, man? All right. We lift up curses, prayers that this place go down swiftly. Matter of fact, we got another scripture, man. All right. This is a uh, second address, two and 13. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days Unto you, that ye uh, that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch, all right. So we're supposed to be pay praying for a few days, hoping for a few days, man. The kingdom is already prepared, man. We're ready to get the fuck up out of her. And even the creature itself, yearning for the manifestations, uh, 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 the manifestation uh, of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man, and his sons, man. All right, matter of fact, I don't want to butcher that scripture, so I'm, I'm gonna get it, man. All right, but th th this is the state of mind we should be in, man. So we should be even back then when Long West first started. The mindset was supposed to be this shit, man. Hopefully this shit go down next year, so on and so forth. That's how hot you should be for this place to go down. That's how hot you should be for Esau going down, man, and these heathens going down. All right. Did did Elder Apostle Gabon say? According to the Bible, thus saith Yahweh, the world will be destroyed in uh, 2008. Come on, dude. That is something. Look, but see, that's your job is to scoff. Whatever. Like I said, we make these videos to edify the body, man. But I got another scripture for you. All right, this is Romans 8 and 19. For the earnest expecta uh, expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifest uh, manifestations of the son of God, of the sons of God, all right? 
So the creation itself, all right, all the creatures, all the people on this earth, hey, us down to the elect, hey, <laughs> we are waiting for that day, all right? We are waiting for that day because when that day and, 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 and comes and the, the elect man, uh, well, and you guys see who the elect chosen man of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is? Shit, that's when all this destruction and everything is going to happen, man. We ready to get the kingdom, man. You niggas can sit here and twiddle your thumbs and talk about America's not going to get totally destroyed. Esau's not going to get totally Man, fuck that shit, nigga. Y'all ain't in the right spirit, man. All right? That's the spirit of Esau, because Esau want to stick around forever, man. <laughs> all right? Uh, let me get this last scripture, man. All right, Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Why? Because Esau is really, the mind state of Esau is if he can't have it, he's going to take everything down with him. All right? But for the elect's sakes, those days should be shortened. And these days are being shortened, man. Hey, just a couple years ago, Shit, I was 20, coming in the truth, man. It ought to be 2018, man. This shit is flying past. That shit was just yesterday to me, man. All right? The days are being shortened quickly. Quick, 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 man. And look at the prophecies popping off left and right. Uh, uh, the, the ten horns is uh, starting to come against this great whore, man, which is Babylon the Great, of course. All right? These other nations ain't coming up against the Vatican. Hey, you dumb niggas. You guys are stupid. Are these are, are, are the ten horns coming to, uh, against the Vatican or America? I said that that shows you that they are false prophets, man. All right, but yeah, that's just my uh, outlook on that, man. Hey, the spirit we're supposed to be in is that this place go down swiftly, man, through the uh, the power, you know, a spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. That, that's what you're supposed to be in, man. All right. But, like I said, you're going to have guys that scoff, take little clips here and uh, try to change it into something that's not whatever, man. Hey, we supposed to be in that spirit of, man, I hope this shit goes down next year, man. And guess what? It is going to go down uh, next year. Not saying as far as, you know, we don't know when Yahweh Bashim is going to come back and destroy this place. But as far as things happening... And prophecies popping off and things turning up. Yeah, it will go down next year. All right. So use discernment when a, a brother or somebody say that. The scriptures clearly say we don't know when that day is going to be. But each year this shit is turning up more and more. Them labor pains are getting more painful and painful for Esau, man. Okay. So with that, man, I, I pray this was edifying. Hey, I pray that it does literally go down next year as far as the destruction. But if not, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will and we still endure to the end. And guess what? A lot of shit is going to go down next year, man. All right? So with that, man, hey, I pray that this was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles of great millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Hey, death to you two-thirds, Ababa, Baba, and death to you false prophets. Shalom to the elect.